Why do people seem so against dry weddings? People like to drink, especially at social gatherings. I don't think it's frowned upon as much as people more or less just expect that there will be an open bar or that alcohol will, at the very least, be served. In the States, we associate good parties with good friends, good food, and good drinks. If it's due to budget constraints, open bars can be expensive. You can always consider having an open bar just for the first hour of the reception and then a cash bar for the rest and if there is just no way you can afford it then a cash bar is better than nothing every dry wedding i've ever been to was over before 9:30 p.m but maybe this is appealing to you and your family or you want a dry wedding for personal cultural or religious reasons it's your day you should do what you want and ignore the noise from what i see a lot of it had to do with social circles. If you have a large family, great-grandparents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, how often do you see them all together? And then if you went to college and kept in touch with college and possibly fraternity, sorority, sibs, how often do you see all of them? And then the friends you have now, do you have one group, two groups, three groups of friends? as in you might have a monthly game group an online friend group and every day i see them whenever we're free group obviously not everyone has all the same numbers but now multiply that by two because the other person getting married has their own groups and now imagine mashing all those different groups together your great grandmother is going to be in the same location as the sorority sisters who watched you you can then make out with a guy or your metalhead friend is going to get crocheting tips from mom generally a drink gets people more amenable to talking to total strangers and dancing with them it largely depends on the area in my experience but many people associate a celebration party with access to alcohol and would be surprised and yes sometimes disappointed to show up at an event and find none available without warning i like to drink i've been to both kinds of weddings doesn't make a difference to me vegan dry jewish whatever it's their day personally i haven't seen that people are against it per se but don't expect people to stay for hours at the reception I don't want to stand around for hours with complete strangers while I'm sober. I'll eat and leave and spend the rest of the day, evening, doing what I want to do. My sibling went to a dry wedding where the reception started at 4 and everyone was gone by 5.30. The bride and groom were pissed because they booked it until 10 o'clock but people don't want to hang out for 6 hours with not much to do. A different perspective. People pay a lot of money to attend weddings, and then also give a gift. I think they expect a party or something in return. And if I'm being honest, people feel like you're being cheap when there isn't an open bar. Edit. When I say pay to attend, I mean the costs of travel to get there. Airfare, car rental, etc. Plus hotel costs plus gifts plus attire. Can easily be $1,000 plus. Not to mention people seem to love to have weddings that are not easy to get to and with a single expensive hotel option. Went to my brother-in-law's wedding a few months ago. The food was not great. Dry. No music. No dancing. Worst wedding I've ever been to. I felt bad for them. People can have whatever kind of wedding they want and some people may have valid reasons for a dry wedding but it's so unusual it would absolutely stand out and i would be disappointed as a guest drinking at a party like that is just part of the culture and the expectation i went to a wedding once with no cake and i thought that was also extremely odd a lot of people need alcohol to loosen up and have fun at an event filled with people they don't know 
It puts people in a more jovial mood which helps with the celebration feeling. It's been that way for most of human history. Otherwise, most people are just thinking when's the soonest they can politely leave. Are you talking about the AITA post? New Year's Eve is traditionally a night to drink and party. It's such a dick move to have a dry wedding that night. My parents taught me growing up that if you're expecting people to bring gifts to something, graduation party, anniversary party, wedding, that they should be provided with the option of good food and drinks. I've been to a few dry weddings. They simply aren't as fun. Draw whatever conclusions you want from that. Large social events like weddings are extremely noisy and stressful. So many people are able to enjoy them better with some alcohol to help reduce their stress. I'm from Italy. You absolutely must feed your guests at weddings. And basically on any other occasions by the way. And you cannot really serve food without some wine. Or spumante if it's just cake. So it's literally impossible to have a dry wedding. And I'm very happy for that. If someone doesn't want to drink, then just doesn't drink. Weddings are already boring and or nerve-wracking because you're being thrown together with a bunch of strangers and distant relatives and friend of friends. Alcohol is typically served as a social lubricant and to relieve social awkwardness in this context. Dry weddings are doubly boring and also awkward on top of that. We're not. We're against not being told in advance so we can decide to attend or not. I've been to dry weddings and they were great fun. Invite me to your nigh dry wedding and you not tell me? I'd be pissed off. Wedding or boring and then add no alcohol, that is a disaster waiting to happen. I don't mind them. People can throw any kind of party they want but I'm likely to stay longer and have more fun with booze. Weddings should be whatever the bride and groom want. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.